Hey guys, welcome to another At The Movies. Uh, once again with Bianca. It is me. And picking up from last time, we'll be going over Beneath the Planet of the Apes. And what a messy sequel it was. There, it, I hope it failed in the box office. It, did, it didn't. It clearly, it didn't to make the next one. Oh, gosh. It did It did well enough. But, you now, going into this, they had a lot of stuff stacked against them. One, the first one was a mega hit. Two, you had a great twist. How do you top that twist? Three, uh, um, Charlton Heston did not want to come back for the sequel. They were able to talk him into it. First, he said, why don't you kill me off at the beginning? Then it was decided, how about you go missing at the beginning? Then we bring you back at the end and kill you off. Yeah, and, why did they meet one? Yep, and um, so yeah, and so it's, we so it's, we got the movie we ended up getting. Now, one thing we want to make clear going into this: Cornelius and Zira from the first one are do not get made as traitors or treason or whatever. That seems to get ignored. It seems like they have other stuff on, but we find out that now. Keep in mind this: I think we're meant to imply that humanity did not expect. Taylor and his crew to be gone for that long, or they didn't expect it to work at all. I think that's where we were supposed to take it. I don't think they were ever expecting it to actually work. Once it happened, they probably thought then they sent someone else to go rescue them. That was the vibe I got, didn't you? That they didn't expect it to actually work at all, so they thought something bad had happened. Yeah, I feel like I had a feeling it it was like that. So they sent Brent <laughs> and his um, teammate there, and now to point snapper out, snapper or a snipper or something whatever, like that. something like that. It, it, he died anyway. <laughs> but um, now Brent, the actor I was picked for there was because he looked so much like a leaner Heston. That was it. What was that? Can you say it again? Yeah, the, the reason why they got the actor they did for Brent was because he what looked like a leaner Charleston. I thought so. I'm like, yo, you look you look like the original. <laughs> but leaner, but definitely leaner. Mm -hmm. But yeah, once they get there, uh, and once he lands, he kind of reenacts a lot of what happened in the first one to a point. Once he, but a bit sped up. Like he meets up with Nova. We find out that oh, your dog dog goes barking. It's because it's there's thundering outside. Oh jeez. I but, know. Yeah, but um. Can you close the door? Okay. Um, I don't he think the closing the door helped since I don't think so either. <laughs> but anyway, as I was saying, um, now Taylor went missing at the beginning. Just followed along. There was a wall there that shouldn't have been there. So he tries to swing his gun in, and he disappears. And Nova's mortified at it. It was so funny. <laughs> so like. The editing for him disappeared. Yeah, like, he, he literally had an outline around his body. Yeah, that, was, like, that, was oh, great, that was that was that was the effects back then. I know. Like I have to, I have to. Yeah, you gotta remember from my sister. So I'm like, yo, these this editing from the 1970s. You gotta see it. Yeah, well, that was literally 1970. Yeah, exactly. Because it was 1970. But yeah, but um. So they, but he but yeah, eventually Nova meets up with Brent and eventually says, take him to Taylor, but ends up taking him to Brent, the, the ape city instead. And yeah, it's a planet of apes. And at this time, we're finding out that one of the gorillas named um, Ursus, who was played and played by um, um, James Gregory, AKA the actor best known for playing the Manchurian candidate. Hmm. Um, he uh, he is ready to want to take charge. He basically is getting a lust for power and wants to take over. Like the only good human is a dead human, and they want to go into the forbidden zone. Basically, Taylor has sparked something, and people want they want to go there and find out what is in the in the uh, forbidden zone and wipe out the other humans that are over there. Anything left that's over there. Uh, we then have Brent meet up with Cornelius and Zero, who apparently got married. Cause remember, they were fiancés in the first one, but now they're apparently married. What? 
Yeah, they're apparently married now. So I'm guessing some time had passed between the two films. Interesting. But right now, this is the only movie of the original five where Ryan McDowell was not involved. But you couldn't really tell, could you? Mm-mm. But yeah, basically they meet up with um, Brent and Nova. And after it's made clear, like, he is another human, I think they were much quicker now to realize, oh, my God, Taylor was right. <laughs> Did you realize that? That that was a moment where, even up until this point, they kept thinking Zeus was probably much right about Taylor, right? Thinking that, oh, he's probably from another tribe. But once you had another human show up talking like him and everything, they probably realized, oh, my God. <laughs> And yeah, they help him out, and they head on, and they head on out, and they end up leading to the Forbidden Zone. All the while, then also, this is the movie. Where, this is the movie where we get the what end up being a very staple line: "Ape shall never kill ape." Mm-hmm. Because as Zeus and Ursus and their troops are heading into the Forbidden Zone, they end up. Um, seeing what believes to be a bunch of apes being tortured. And Zayas tells Ursus, put them out of their misery! I cannot declare the greatest law our lawgiver declared. Ape shall never kill ape! And this was, of course, done as a way of having it be how apes were better than humans, and that humans kill each other. Apes never kill each other. I mean, we know that's a full of shit, but that was their way of differentiating themselves. Uh, yeah. And now, of course, what happens once Brent and Nova get to the Forbidden Zone? What do they find? People. No, before that. Dang. Uh, Manhattan. That, that, New York, yeah. That was incredible, wasn't it? You gotta be honest. That was incredible. The fall, the flattened Manhattan and everything. Yeah, I was like, hey, you're a New Yorker. How's it going? <laughs> but yeah, that was a great time. And really, how else could you top the Statue of Liberty, right? Yeah, I should have I should have done that. To me, I just thought, okay, it's the U.S., but I didn't think it was specifically New York well, because well, I couldn't tell how far everything was from each other. Yeah, well, if you think about it, though, where the Statue of Liberty was and the distance between the Statue of Liberty and New York, it actually makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I should have really thought about that. But yeah, now eventually when they get there, they do find other people there. But these are humans that have gained telepathic abilities. They kill, they do speak, but only for specific things. And um, turns out they've been irradiated long ago. They wear these um, fake fit masks, you know, face masks and everything, but they do remove them when they want. To. Now, I should point out, the blonde woman, you're going to see that actress for the remaining movies. The blonde one? Yep. I mean, you already saw her in the third one, which what you're seeing. She's the female scientist. Yes. And, but she'll then be wearing eight makeup for the other two movies. But, but anyway, what did you think about that twist with the humans? I hated it. Okay, why is that? Well, because the whole point of the freaking first movie was that there's no more humans besides the Neanderthals version. As far as we knew, though, remember, though, there had to be a reason for Zayas to think there were other smart humans out there. There had to be. I thought he just read books. No, and, uh, and no. There were, and other comics would reveal that there actually is stuff known that there was that a bunch of humans had gone over to that area. And if some of them, and they hidden themselves away. So basically, Zayas knew there had to be some out there that were smart like Taylor still. That's part of the reason why they're choosing to go into the Forbidden Zone in the first place, was to prove it. Well, he obviously didn't think they would have the powers of hallucinations. Well, obviously, but he said, yeah. but he did at least right. It's a trick. Mm hmm. But yeah, eventually, they meet Before up. Before that, he told them to kill him. He's like, right. and their misery. Oh, no, I told you that part. They're like, I cannot break the greatest law. Ape shall never kill ape. Mm -hmm. But yeah, now, of course, we find out that these humans are insane. They worship a bomb. Not just any bomb. A, um, a bomb with a cobalt casing that could trigger it called the Alpha and Omega bomb. A doomsday bomb. 
visit Alpha and Omega. And eventually we see that um, they meet Brett, they all meet up with Taylor. And you can still tell that Taylor, much like Teston, he was tired. He just wanted to end. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yo, bro, yep. you look but, so uh, freaking uh, tired. I, I will say, I did like, find it chilling how the bag is like, we do not kill our enemies. We make our enemies kill each other. That I liked. And then Nova came through and then she speaks saying, Taylor! And that's what snapped him out of it. Yeah, I was like, yay! And then she got shot! Thank goodness. Yeah, the apes then show up. It starts to build up. Um, Brett takes out... Um, uh, I, I do like how the apes just plow right through all of the humans. There's nothing they can do. Mm-hmm. And then eventually, then I'm like, "This is my God." <laughs> did, you, did your God help you now? So w- why their faces ripped off? Because they were closer to. It's basically years of development from living in the area mm-hmm. where they had some of the highest radiation, but they still survived. Mm-hmm. That's why. And. Um, Basically, then um, Brent takes out Ursus, but then they shoot and kill him, and they shoot. Um, uh, Tyler got shot, and good God was they The one moment Zayas was an idiot, a <laughs> royal idiot, chewing yeah. out um, Taylor, saying, "Humanity is capable of destruction, nothing more." And what does Taylor do at his last moment? Grabs on, uh, detonates the bomb, blowing it up. And he called him a bastard. Yep, and. I it's find it work. funny how the guys, um, when Taylor and Brent were fighting, like Brent hit him his back on the cages, which have like needles on them. But they didn't do it until they keep, but they used it to kill the other guy. No, um, there was he. It was supposed to show that he was getting stabbed in the literal back. Uh, oh yeah. Was sitting, but there was nothing on there, and then in the next shot, that's when they show the blood. I'm like, you, I saw that, I saw that error. <laughs> yep. But um, and then for some reason they use the door to kill one of the guys, yeah. and then they close the door, uh, and then they can't even open it. <laughs> but again, but and, yeah, the earth blows. The earth blows up real good. And then uh, I'm pretty sure Taylor did it on purpose. He's like, you know what? Screw you guys. And I'm like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Zero, bro. Zero. Exactly. He and they, bl- they blow up real good. And technically, he hasn't got what he wanted initially. And we'll, get, we'll talk about that in a moment. We'll get back to that ending in a moment. But overall, this was a messy sequel. But there was. There Except are some- Nova. Because when they killed her, she had no blood at all. <laughs> well. <laughs> But there really wasn't, and there was only blood after they got shot, but you know, and all that. Not you know for Nova, I mean? there wasn't any blood at you're all. You're right, you're right. You see, there was, was how much skin she showed. Right. But you know, the way the women died in the beginning. Um, oh, there's the only way... the one woman that, well, she only died because she got wizard away to a husk. I know, but her death wasn't really like that bad. And then you have Nova got Nova. it bad. She, no, there was no blood. You and she got killed off screen. <laughs> Even though we saw her get shot. Yeah, I didn't see no shot hit her. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no she ran to the back. I. Like, That's not me seeing her get shot. I need to see a bullet, and I need to see blood come out. Give me the dudes, because I, like, I, I know Brett got it bad. Brett got it super like, bad. <laughs> and then blood was coming out right after. <laughs> yeah, and even Taylor was like. Ugh. And my sister was looking at that part, and she's like, that looks so fake. <laughs> True, but Zayas was an idiot at the very end. He was good up until that very end. Then you're like, you idiot! It's like, I honestly liked his portrayal in the first movie, and the second one just felt like no, he, he was, was good. He was, again, he, he was good until the end. I thought he was good up until that point. Because I could understand wanting to go into the Forbidden Zone with Ursus and everything. And even then, that whole defiance, like he felt like, I know the lawgiver. This is not true. Yeah. And then they never got to see Taylor. Oh, no, they did Cor- Cornelius. Well, they had other things to do, like saving their own skins. Mm-hmm. We'll get to that though on the next one. But before that, though, but what would you rate this one? I give it a five or a six. 
three. That but bad? Eh, you might change your mind once you get to five. Five is the fifth movie is really bad. We will see. If it's true, I will up the rating for this movie. But for now, it's up a, a three. But again, you can definitely tell this was a mess. Mm-hmm. And but and if it ended here, I gotta say it is a little fitting for it to end here with the um, you know, with that human no man even no as far as high as mighty. As the apes saw, they brought about their own destruction. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And that, and they wiped each other, everyone out. And the fact they were that ruthless. I would say, the, I didn't like Ursus. Ursus was the standout of the movie, wouldn't you say? Repeat that question. Ursus, the gorilla. I hated him. Why did you hate him? Because he's a muscle-brained gorilla. Yeah, but he's one that you knew how to use politics in his favor. Yeah, he was a powerful general. He definitely was. But come on, that whole speech he gave and everything. And the, but the fact that he wasn't so far gone that he still would stick to their own laws. Saying, like, I can't kill them with the lawgiver decreed. Apes shall never kill ape. It's like, so it's like he's bloodthirsty, but still loyal to the ape way. Yeah. Like so, the traditional. Yeah. So, yeah. That was Beneath the Planet of the Apes. Hope you guys would just check it out. And we'll see you as we get to Escape from the Planet of the Apes. See ya.